dive into our top five now, uh, starting with what could have been a leg breaker for Zeke Lau, just putting it all on the line. I know my knees were hurting watching that final move unfold, but it was a clutch performance from the Hawaiian. Yeah, it was. Just look at uh, Zeke attacking here. Just the big, strong Hawaiian using his weight and leverage just to uh, display so much water through all these big turns, carving, holding the rail line. I love that style of surfing. And then just look at that final moment here. Drops out of the sky somehow. Just shoves his board uh, you know, straight under his feet and able to ride out of that. And uh, certainly impressed, but looks like he did a bit of damage on the way down as well. 8.67 for that final ride. Big score, big win, and there's an idea of just how big the conditions were. Number four, big drops and big wipeouts. We saw plenty of them early on. Oh, it was a wild morning this morning. I mean, seeing the boat go over the back of that set was just like J-Bay a few years back where we had those huge sets as well. And I mean, take a look at how heavy these drops are. Like, how were they actually oh. making it, staying on their feet, and then trying to throw in for turns like that and getting sucked over the falls? Yeah, it was definitely Hawaiian-esque type conditions this morning, and that water angle really showing us we had broken boards uh, thankfully not much carnage in the body department but certainly uh, the equipment took a bit of a, uh, a carnage at number three Ethan Ewan Ewing went from third to first with a solid effort. Just a couple of rides for him in this heat. He was so patient with his priority, but he used it well. Only two rides the entire wave. He sat with that seven on the scoreboard and then just like under a minute to go, a few seconds left, decided to take off on this one. Bumped him from third into the lead, which was incredibly impressive that he held that composure. But man, he would have had a few people stressing. No doubt, but this guy's just gone to a whole new level confidence-wise, Rich, and just seems to be now doing the, the kind of surfing that we've uh, expected for, from him uh, for a long time in the jersey. Oh, so frustrating over the last few years, just watching Ethan and knowing what he can do, knowing how good a surfer he is, and he just wasn't putting the results together and the heats together. He's still got a lot of us kind of on the edge of our seat in terms of, uh, you know, getting his heat scores and banking his scores early in the in the heat duration, but yeah, he's, he's fixing it all up. He's definitely one of the Aussies to watch. At number two, John John Florence just picks up where he left off last season. I mean, big scores at main break is what he's become famous for and he delivered again. Those big trademark under the lip layback jams, they just suit those sections so well. Oh, oh, so, I can never get tired of watching this style of surfing. Just the amount of power on the rail that this guy can, can produce, it's remarkable. And I think everyone probably goes home and watches what he's doing and tries to study it and emulate it in a way. Uh, and again, just a good look there at the narrow tail there. That's helping to him to carve and bite into the wave face. Number one, a main break ignites. And there was some big heats going down today and some big performances to match. Connor O'Leary getting back to his best and he was exhausted after the exchanges that went down in this one. Yeah, I mean, he really had to stay on his toes to match what the other guys were bringing, but put together some incredible waves. Yeah, Morgan Siblick, Rich, uh, a good bounce back from him. Big committed end section there. Yeah, I said it in uh, in the heat when we were commentating, Shannon. It's the best surfing I've seen Morgan do this year, without a doubt. Uh, it, it's the shades of what we saw last year with Morgan, just a freed up, really aggressive approach. Uh, he, he looks like he's been a bit nervous or something going on. There's been pressure on him uh, this year to perform, but in this heat, he really opened up. And, and Connor O'Leary, well, he, he opened up on the backhand uh, big time in this heat, really showed what that backhand attack can do. I mean, it was a really impressive performance from both Connor and Morgan to keep Kayo at bay looking for that last score. Kayo into the elimination round, which is a massive difference for the results we've seen of him out here in the past. And it was a really good performance all around from all three surfers. It sure was, yeah. Morgan Siblick, a uh, big, big charge from him to, to get past that elimination round, give himself a good night's rest and, and look forward to uh, a big round three matchup. Of course, Morgan was one of the